Welcome back to another video from your friends at Altitude University. Just like getting behind the wheel of a car, there's a little bit of risk you take on every time you launch your drone into the sky. In today's video, we are going to give you a crash course in drone insurance. Stay tuned and we'll shed some light on how insurance can help make your life a little easier. Before we begin, hit those like and subscribe buttons so we can continue providing you with more drone related content. Leave us a comment on who you use for drone insurance and why you like them as a carrier. Understanding insurance is essential to protecting yourself and your investment. We're going to break it all down for you from the pros and cons to on-demand versus monthly and annual insurance and finally discuss the types of coverage you may want to consider. Drone insurance comes in all shapes and sizes. Your personal situation, such as the type of work you do with your drone, its weight, how much risk you want to take on, and lots of other factors will determine which type of insurance is best for you. We'll give you just enough information to make an informed decision, but it's always a good idea to go over your options with an insurance agent. We'll provide the link to a carrier we use in the description below. It's also worth noting that the insurance we'll be talking about today is only related to your drone. General business insurance, like the type that covers someone slipping or hurting themselves at your office, or the type that repairs damages to your company car after a hailstorm, isn't the focus of this video. Let's start by listing the top three pros and cons related to insurance, starting with the pros. First, peace of mind. Insurance provides peace of mind knowing that you're financially protected in case of accidents. Second, professionalism. Having insurance can make your, you more attractive to clients, especially in commercial drone operations. And third, risk management. Instead of shouldering the full financial burden of a loss, you share it with the insurance company, reducing your overall risk exposure. Now for the cons. The cost. Insurance can be expensive, especially for comprehensive coverage. Covering limitations. Policies have limitations, exclusions, and deductibles. Complexity. Understanding the fine print of insurance policies can be complex and time consuming. Now that you have a general idea of the good and bad regarding insurance, let's talk about some specifics for drone operations. There are two primary ways to insure your drone, on-demand and monthly or annual coverage. On-demand is usually set up on an hourly basis, while monthly and annual policies give you complete coverage during the period you select. A couple of the on-demand providers include Airmodo and Skywatch.ai. Hourly insurance usually will cost around $10. In the case of Airmodo, you start by downloading the app. After you set up things and enter some information on your drone in the flight, the app will quote you an amount per hour based on the coverage. If anything goes wrong that is covered by the insurance during the hour, you can submit a claim. It's important to remember that most of the on-demand policies only cover liability insurance. So, if your drone crashes into a car and causes $1,000 worth of damage, that could be covered, usually minus a deductible, but it would not recover repairing your drone. If you select monthly or annual insurance, the policy will cover you during the entire period anytime you fly. Usually, monthly rates are a little higher than annual rates, since insurance companies typically give a discount to annual policyholders. So, which one is best for you? On-demand insurance costs less money up front, if you hardly ever fly your drone, this might be a good option. A good example would be if you're an event photographer that usually uses your drone only about an hour each month. If you use your drone more frequently, the hourly fees will quickly become more expensive than a monthly or annual policy. This is especially true now that you can find monthly policies at very affordable rates. I personally have a policy with Skywatch for $1 million in liability insurance, and it also covers property damage, bodily injury, privacy claims, indoor operation, pays for damage to my DJI Air 2S, and has world ride coverage. All of that is only $66 a month. The best way to make your decision on which is best for you is to get a quote for on-demand and monthly insurance. If you fly enough hours that you'll pay more money on on-demand insurance at the hourly rate than the quote for the monthly insurance, go with the monthly or annual coverage. Now, let's cover two types of insurance you'll want to consider. We'll start with liability insurance, as this is the main one you will need both for peace of mind and it's what many clients will require you to have. Liability insurance is a type of insurance coverage that provides financial protection and coverage for individuals or businesses in case they are held legally responsible for injury, property damage, 
or other liabilities that occur due to their actions or negligence. Basically, it means if your drone has an accident and bad things happen, you're protected from covered issues up to the limits set forth in the policy. In our experience, most clients will want you to have at least a million dollars in liability coverage. Hull insurance is another common insurance offered by companies that insure drone pilots. Where liability covers damages to people and property other than you, Hull coverage protects your drone. In most cases, it covers damage or loss to your drone due to accidents, crashes, or other mishaps. Other types of insurance include theft, bodily injury, and loss. At a minimum, we recommend having at least liability and whole insurance. Hopefully, we've demystified a few things about drone insurance. If you're new to drones and thinking about starting your own drone business, check out our video on starting a drone business for less than 3,000 and our other content to help make you a better drone pilot. We hope you enjoyed this video and look forward to seeing you again soon. Until next time, stay safe out there and happy flying.